first interview in front of us. Let's have a play of it and see what you think. Tommy, congrats on the pro deal. How happy are you to have signed? No, of course, I'm absolutely buzzing to sign my pro deal. So that's my second pro deal now. Uh, the first one was with Barnsley, and I'm just buzzing to you know sign at such a good club and and try and work my way into the first team. Yeah. Um, firstly, them earrings are very questionable. Um, I don't think I'll ever wear them again. Um, and felt exactly how I feel now. Obviously, happy that I've got a contract in this club and. Um, I can go on the pitch and, and show the fans and everyone here watching what I'm about. And tell me and the fans a bit more about you and the kind of player you are, positions you can play and things like that. Uh, so i played the 23 as a striker. Um, I can play on play off the left, I like, I like cutting in. Um, I'd say I'm fast, uh, I can finish. Um, but a bit about me, I grew up in the Southampton Academy um, and then I went to Barnsley, did a scholarship. Like I say, got my pro deal. Now I'm left at older shot and I can't wait to get going. Um, I wouldn't describe myself right there. Um, I haven't played as much as a striker this season, more more as a left winger. And I think I've sort of found my feet in, in the league as a as a left winger. And at the moment, in the current like, shape we play, that's probably my most in, enjoyable position. So hopefully, going towards the end of the season, I can carry on doing that and. Well, like I'm saying here, hopefully cut in and get a few more goals. You touched on me, you touched on you know, cutting inside on the left. Obviously, we spoke about it off camera. That's where you like to play. It's like where you think you're the most threatening going forwards. Yeah, exactly. I think um, I'm more of a player who likes to get the ball and drive rather than a back to goal player. So the, the left wing allows me to do that more. So hopefully, yeah, I can create more moments like the goal I scored here. Um, because obviously you come off the back of a successful academy season with us, cup final as well. Obviously it would have been disappointing to have lost the game, but you would have learnt a lot during the time there and the sort of things you learnt along the way. 100%. For me, I've said, like, my individual season was brilliant. Like, it's the most I've ever scored. Like, in a season I've scored uh, 26 goals in 23 games. Um, the final was obviously gutting, but it was such a good experience to play. You know, all the lads, like, I class them as friends as well, so to go through that with a with my mates as well, it was, just, it was such a good good experience to be involved in, yeah. Um, not as many goals <laughs> this year. Hopefully, hopefully a few more next year. Um, but yeah, it was a, it was a good season last year. Uh, I did well, and, and that's just pushed me on to to bring my confidence that I did have last year into into this year. And every time I speak to you, every time I, I speak to people, I say I'm a confident player, and that don't change. You know, what I play, I always believe in my ability and believe I can cause. The defence problems whoever I'm playing against, so maybe not as many goals, but more than goals. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Always, always, always have been important, obviously, bar, bar it. Um, like, like I said, the Dover one, first win under the new gaffer and the Grimsby, put us 1 0 up in a tough game, and that set us on the run. So, hopefully, from now to the end of the season, there's a few more important goals on the way and get us a few more wins. Because obviously you now work with manager Danny Sell, who's got history of bringing through young players and things like that. Ultimately, that must be good for you going into next season, your first, you know, your first proper pro professional deal in the National League. No, one hundred percent. You said it. Like the manager likes bringing through the youth, and there's nothing more as a young player you want than a manager to, to you know put faith into the youth and give them give them a chance to express themselves. And, and yeah, uh, I've got to say thank you to Danny. Obviously, he uh, he gave me my debut for the club and, and in this league, um, and brought and brought me through ultimately. And then same as the gaffer now, who's put tremendous faith in me, played me in the majority of the games since he's been here, and um, I'll just need to repay that, keep repaying that, and hopefully I get more opportunities from now to the end of the season. And that's that's all I needed. Yeah, exactly that. And with pre-season coming up, is a chance for you to get involved in a few first-team games there and hopefully show the fans what you can do. Exactly, and I'm buzzing that. Like, I can't wait to show the fans what you know what I'm about. I can't wait to show the manager like that he can trust me, and I just can't wait to play football again. I missed it so much. Yeah, I think I had a good preseason. Um, looking looking back now, uh, I sort of marked my my stamp sort of on on the on the team. Um, showed all the players as well because that's important. Showing the players what, what you've got, they they believe in you. And I think I had a good preseason, um, which led me into the start of the season, which is obviously why I got my first start. And I say buzzing way too much in this video. So obviously, I was happy, but because <laughs> so obviously you come off the back, like you say, of a, of a, a successful goal scoring season. What are your goals and targets for next season? For me, it's just to have the best preseason possible, 
uh, show the fans, show the manager what I can do and just get as many games under my belt as I can. And if I'm playing, then obviously I want to be scoring and exciting the fans and winning games as a team as well. Um, yeah, I think, I think I've, I've done that. Obviously, I had a good pre-season, so my first target was, was met. Um, I've had plenty of games. Um, and now it's just getting the goals and I've obviously got my targets from, from now to the end of the season to add some more goals and, and push this in, into my game uh, and the last one was to excite the fans and obviously I can't judge but I, I hope I've excited the fans when they've come to watch me here and hopefully there's plenty more that's come. A bit more media training since we last spoke when I interviewed. Oh yeah definitely and now I, I just was absolutely talking a lot of, a lot of nonsense. I think I'm alright here now. How do you reflect on that video? Obviously, looking at that, where you were then, obviously not playing in the National League, obviously here you are 20 games or so later. You know, you seem more confident person. You seem like somebody, you know, who knows a first-team player. Yeah, I've had... The confidence comes with playing games. Um, I feel like around the lads, I'm, I'm I'm just myself. I can be myself, you know. Some of the young boys, they, they come up and they are reserved, which is completely respectable. I feel like I was like that at the start. Uh, but now I feel like I can mix with anybody... You know, any way you sit on the coach, everyone's welcoming. Um, and even now, obviously, I'm not an experienced player, but I have played a lot of games. So when the boy, academy boys do come up to train with us, I, I do welcome them in and, and make sure they can just go and express themselves because that's all I did. And now, looking back 20 games ago, I feel like I've come come a long way and, and know that I can go further and push myself to to be um, to do better things for this club and hopefully hopefully take us to a better place. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.